So today I will teach you 15 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone based on One UI 6.1 and One UI 6.1.1 but nothing to do with One UI 7 and on the good luck, okay? So today we are going to be doing this type of review and then hope you can follow up and then yeah, follow along. So let's get started. What are the few features that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone on the good luck? Subscribe and let's get started but everything will be good luck so if you haven't downloaded good luck yet please do so on your galaxy store and then download multiple things okay so now i'm going to turn on um screen recording and you can take a look what is happening inside the good luck so we're going to go by step by step so the first thing is i would like to jump into key cafe so key cafe is a keyboard that you can customize anything you want what's so good about this key cafe is you can create your own keyboard the first trick is we are going to go into make your own keyboard when you go inside here because i am asian so we type chinese we write chinese so you see a lot of different keyboards however if you go into the english we go to the simple keyboard when you go to the simple keyboard we press edit when you press edit if you look at this the bottom is your original keyboard at the top here you can actually insert anything you want so let's just say if you go into here there's a lot of options right here so let's just say I would like to say oh my god and then I can drag it into one of the space right here and now oh my god is right there so every time when you type you don't have to type oh my god you can just press this and omg will stay there so this is actually number one you can just put anything you want inside here and then it will be customizable so number two is it's actually design your own style keyboard when you go inside here you can actually choose your color but at the bottom right here you can see effect so every time when you press the keyboard it will show you a lot of different options for the colors for the e effects and things like that so it takes some time and then on the side here you can see sound and sound is basically whatever you want so every time when you type the keyboard the sounds will come up and this is actually number two so the next thing is it's actually called Napstar and at the bottom right here at the buttons you can actually add any buttons at the bottom so you can see right now my button is actually on a straight line so you cannot really do it but if you have something like this okay I'm going to show you right now if you have something like this now you can add buttons at the bottom here you can see that so I can add like cameras at the bottom so when I press the camera and then the camera will show up okay so just like that pretty pretty cool so i do i don't have to search cameras so when you turn this on which this is not a navigation bar anymore so i can switch that back to the button and now when we go back to here you can add a new button so we're going to press new and then we can press button layout and then we can add button so for me, I love putting cameras in there. So I would tap it and you can see cameras at the top. Now you just drag whatever you want. I would like to place it right there and then press done, press save. And now all you have to do is select the one that you original select. And you can see the bottom already camera is right there. Okay, this is pretty, pretty cool. So in addition, okay, we're going to go back to the next star. Right here, adjust if you want to swipe like this, okay? So let's just say if you want to do swiping, and now you can see the transparent, okay? You can adjust the transparency at the, on the lines. You can change the color, whatever you want for the lines, for you, for you easier to see, and then things like that. So this is another side if you actually want the swipe gestures. So now we're going to go to home up. In home up, there's one, two, three, four features in here. So on the home screen, this is One UI 6.1.1. Here you can see favorite count. You can count your favorite uh, apps, whatever you want, but I don't really use that. So you can concentrate on doing this okay so then next trick is actually folders on your folder grid you can actually add you know your how many apps you want and icons and pop-up style okay so open pop-up style so when you open a folder 
it will pop up like this and now this is the grid you can add more apps if you lock folders the next trick is this is very very important it's called share manager share manager is basically you can actually sh select let's just say i share things to my girlfriend all the time using whatsapp so now at the bottom here you can actually select the the specific app that you want to share to let's just say push bullet and bnb meet a message and now when you tap on there now your message is right there now when i click on this one it will sh directly go to the message and right away find my contact this is actually pretty cool so make sure that you guys have this because it will save you so much time just selecting uh, which app to what contacts and then the next trick is it's actually a task changer we we'll turn this on as you can see this is the original task changer some people like like these type of style right you can see it a little bit different or even the slim list but you can not see everything but some people like this okay so you can select whatever you want yeah so it's going to be like this and then you make it like a circle so if you feel like that make sure that you go to the task changer on your home mob and you can change anything you want so the next trick is i would like to show you is quick start so when you go to the quick start it's basically the grid between left side and right side so we're not talking about when you are seven we're talking just straightly when you are 6.1 you can adjust whatever you want so this side on your right side will be quick setting on your left side will be notifications so it depends on you you can actually change the um, the space they just say I want this space on my right side only notifications and then this whole other space will be quick setting so we can adjust whatever you want all right at the top right here you can actually change your grid on your um, panel when you scroll down like this so let's just say I want it to be like super narrow now you can see it's super narrow in the middle already if you want a super wide let's just go all the way there now it's very very wide so it really really depends on you how you want to change everything the next trick is it's actually uh, the style your own quick panel so you can color whatever you want at the same time you want to see is there anything on this session visibility of indicator icons so let's just say if you do not want mobile data you don't want alarm on you don't want alarm to show up right at the top there or airplane mode or nfc things like that you don't want to show up at the top you can actually check it off right here uh, vpn mobile hotspot um, power saving mode maybe you don't really need that on the top so you can shut it off locations you need to you don't really need locations and then you can shut it off right there so it will save you more space at the top at the uh where the clock is and then it will you know do the work okay the next thing is is actually multi-star okay so this is actually very very important even though you have a folding phone but we're not going to go to the folding option yet we are just going to go straight to multi-star what is the important part in here so the main thing is it's actually right in the middle here multi windows so basically when you press a recent button which is this button right here you can actually do a pop-up or you can do multi-screen you can just select whatever you want and then that's it so let's just say if i have a button like this all i need to do is press the recent button right at the top and then it will show up like this so i can select another screen whatever i want and then now it will be two screen at the same time so that's what it meant or you can do a pop-up screen whatever you want and now let's just go down right at the bottom here prevent pop-up field minimizations so which means that if you press a recent button your app will shrink a little bit right usually uh, if you're playing youtube if you're playing any videos the sound will stop if you actually click this on the sound will actually keep on going the music will keep on going and then you can still select another app for multi windows and things like that so this one has to keep it on okay so right now we 
To, we're gonna talk, so right now we're gonna talk about one hand operational plus. So one hand operational plus is so useful, super easy to use. All you have to do is turn this on, and then there's left and right handle. We're gonna go from the left handle, which means that is the phone on your phone, the left side. So on the edge, you drag it out, you pull it out, quick one and a long one, okay? So long swipe, short strike, swipe. And then when you do that, you can actually open whatever you want. So you can do that with a split screen, you can do a screenshot, you can shut it off the phone, you can do whatever you want. And then go up, go down, and then if you hold it, there's another three option as well too. So you can take some time to see what do you want on this side. And then on the right side as well, same thing. And then, right at here, at the bottom here, it will sh tell, it will ask you how do you want your blue. You see the blue line right there, the blue square. You can tell them how wide you want, how small you want, what's the position you want to go lower, higher, something like that. So it really depends on you. So we are going to talk about the next trick. It's called register. So we're going to go in there. There's actually three tricks in here I would like to show it to you, all right? So the first thing is, we are going to be organizing your setting. So what I'm talking about is, when you go to the setting right there, there's so many things right here. There's so many things right here, right? Now we're going to cut some down. So if you go to the regist register, is customize your setting home. So now, if you go to menu order and group settings, now you can delete whatever you don't even use, okay? So take your time and look over this and see if there's anything that you don't want on your setting menu, okay? And then you can actually drag back and forth whatever you most important, put at the top there. Whatever is not important, put at the bottom there and then that's it. So that's that's one of the features. The next features I would like to show you is, is actually a search option and then allow creation of shortcut. What that means is if you go to the setting and right now we have to search, okay? We cannot find or whatever. You have to search and type out whatever you want. Let's just say brightness, okay? Let's just say, okay? Brightness. Now you can see this is the search result. You hold it. And now you can actually press this, add. Now this is a shortcut. So now every time when you press this, now it will jump into your setting right away without you search again. So right now on this register, they allow you to do that, okay? So take some time, turn this on, and then now go to the setting and see what is more important for you. So the next, next trick is, I would like to tell you is, is a back tap action. So the back tap action is there's double tap and there's triple tap. So double tap is, you double tap and then it will trigger whatever you want. So you double the back, okay, double tap the back, and then it will trigger screenshot and then share. So you can do that, screenshot and share. So you can do that. And now if you see at the bottom, them, there's like this thing called gate. Gate means that if whatever happens, just say, let's just say power saving mode or low battery, then the back button, it will not work. So basically you need to turn this on if you do not want that to happen. So set this up and then see what you like. And then the next feature is, it's actually the side button right there, okay? On this multi-star, no, on this register, you can actually add a lot of different things that on the regular setting cannot do, okay? Because on the regular setting, there's side button as well too. But on here, you can see, turn on and turn off red flashlight, turn on and turn off auto re uh, rotate, things like that. So you can take a look and see what you like. So when you just hold the action button, then you can trigger whatever you want. But for me on the side button, I turn on big speed button. So that's what I like to do. So these are the tricks that you need to know, 20, uh, 15 tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Not one UI 7 yet, I'm just teaching you one UI 6.1.1. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I hope this feature helps you a lot. And please subscribe for my next video, all right? Have a nice day, bye bye, peace out.